My name is Julia Dorney. And I'm Christoph Johan. And we are presenting the new PHEV, which are plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. And one of this is the Volvo XC40 T5 Recharge. And I have the pleasure to introduce the Jeep Compass 4XE. We want to see how far we can go with our vehicles on electric range only. So now we left the road and went off-road. So and this is the Volvo XC40, the car itself is on the market for some years, but brand new is the plug-in hybrid version. Plug-in hybrid means this car has two engines under the hood. There is a combustion engine and an electric engine. This is compared to its competitors a real premium car. We have fine materials, great leather, all is well done, but this should be normal at a price of 60,000 euro. This is the Jeep Compass 4XE and it's been made in the Italian city of Melfi. Earlier it was produced in Mexico. So this is the plug-in hybrid. Uh, it has this engine underneath. It's uh, 130 horsepower. And the electric motor is in the trunk, basically. And inside it looks quite neat. But compared to the Volvo, it looks a lot cheaper, I have to admit. So the car it stands here, it's about 40,000 euro. So it's a good price for a plug-in vehicle. So Julia, let's start our first test drive here in the city. Let's go for it. So I start now with my test drive in the Volvo through the city of Berlin. And the first thing I can say is if you put it on the eco mode or the hybrid mode, this car drives totally electric. The range then is 40 kilometers and driving electric in a city is perfect. Normally SUVs are a little bit bumpy, but the chassis system of the Volvo is very comfortable. The whole um, navigation system and entertainment system is a little bit tricky to, to work with because it's all touchscreen and touchscreen is not perfect in cars because you don't find the position so exactly with your finger all the time. Best thing to say about that is they have uh, still a great button for volume here and that makes it easier to handle. Well this PHEV plug-in electric vehicle is really really nice, something I totally enjoy because you have the ordinary combustion engine and you also have the electric motor which is so nice and this car is able to use it both pretty much at the same time. This car has different modi. We have the hybrid mode, the electric mode and e-safe. E-safe means I'm actually driving the car on normal gas while it's charging its battery due to co-recuperation which is really nice and in the city the modi you should prefer is the hybrid one because when you go like slowly or in a city at like 50 kilometers per hour the car is on electric mode and as soon as you increase your rpm then the gasoline is going so like on combustion engine base that's pretty cool hey you but now i'd like to try yours yeah let's change cars okay amazing So I'm now sitting the first time in the Jeep Compass 4XE and what I have to do first is to switch off all the heating systems Julia has switched on. There is the seat heating on full power and the steering wheel heating on full power so I have to switch this off as well and now we can go. So driving is quite normal which is normal for all plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. Normally they drive like electric cars. Very, very, very soft, very smooth in the city. And let's check the energy flow. There's a great information display how the energy is flowing and 
how many kilowatts are in the battery and how many kilowatts I'm using and this is very detailed. This is much more information than in the Volvo. So comfort, now we have cobble road, cobblestone road here. Comfort is also high. It's very impressive. For an SUV, the seat for me is a little bit too hard. I try to adjust it, but mm, could be better. But at all, I have to say in the city, it's a fine car. So this car is really, really nice compared to the Jeep. It's a lot more luxury. Uh, like every detail is so, I don't know, just so nice. But you have to say, it's 20,000 euro more expensive and for that price it should be a lot better, right? So right now we are in the electric mode, which is so nice, it's quiet. And especially in the city, you don't need to use the gas. You're only electric and that's very good for emission. But how long can you drive these two cars on all electric power? Julia and Christoph perform an all-exclusive test for REV. I have read the research from the German Fraunhofer Institute. They looked at 100,000 plug-in hybrid vehicles and, and looked how are they driven at everyday use. And the result is they are, the, the drivers only use the electric mode at 18% of all time. That, that means 82% of all driving is with combustion engine. And therefore they got full subsidies I don't think that's, that's okay. So we didn't really win anything then? No, not, not real progress. Are you ready to see how we can go with just electric motor? I am. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> So we started now our challenge in the middle of Berlin Charlottenburg and we now go northbound as far as we can by electric mode. I wanted to know Christoph, are you on electric mode for sure? Because my car just started immediately in the hybrid mode. Make sure it's on electric. Exactly, that was the same here in the Volvo and but we can switch it on uh, pure electric mode. And please don't forget to switch off all other electric systems which use energy like seat heating and steering wheel heating. So we cannot, we cannot use any energy for other things than driving. So my range now is 42 kilometers. I gathered two kilometers extra. That's really good. Yeah. I went down to 37. 37? Too much stop and go. Oops. I'm already on 90%. I'm on 80. Volvo seems very, very efficient in regaining energy and recuperation. I so let's go. <laughs> okay, Julia, short stop here at the REF headquarter in the heart of Berlin. How many range you have left? You know, I'm so afraid we can, like, I'm going to lose this challenge pretty much because I'm at 18 kilometers and 56% uh, left. Okay. And you? So I don't tell you mine. <laughs> let's see it go on. <laughs> what? Well, well, yeah. Well, let's try it out. Let's try it out. So it's interesting. We were driving already 8.5 kilometers and when we started we had a range of 40 kilometers. And now we still have a range of 36 kilometers. That means the recuperation is doing very well. We gain kilometers every, every, every moment we're braking, we get new energy back in our batteries. So for cities, a hybrid car is perfect. Christoph, I, I'm pretty sure you're cheating on me, aren't you? No, I didn't. But my car is, is doing very well in recuperation. It's crazy. Like, we were supposed to leave Berlin and right now it seems impossible. So, how much further is it? I've been 15 kilometers. Well, if it's 15, then I can totally make it because I have 15 kilometers left. I have 25 left, so let's try it. We 
just left Berlin behind. Isn't that good? This is really great and we make the whole distance in the city by pure electric drive. I'm really happy that we made this. I mean, I'm very, you know, excited because I have only four kilometers left. It, would, it was about time to leave the city. But we reached our first goal. I have 11 kilometers range left and together 29 kilometers driving in the city pure electric. Amazing. So challenge done, right? Challenge done. Now run your energy totally to zero, please. I really wonder how, f how further we can go with this battery level because it just don't shows me the kilometers anymore and I only have 4% left and I really wonder at what time it goes to another program. Now, see, electric is blinking and now it went to hybrid. Now we just switched over to the hybrid mode. After 32 kilometers, we have still seven kilometers range left. So go on with your combustion engine mode and try to recharge uh, electric energy. So what we can see now from behind is that your combustion engine just started because steam is coming out. It was not running for half an hour or so and it's cold and it starts and it's a little bit water which, which is coming out of your exhaust system. That's interesting, I wish I could see it. Well, now my uh, electric range is zero and the combustion engine has started. Exactly at 40 kilometers like predicted. Perfect result. Absolutely, so the Volvo wins that challenge for sure. I think it's a better recuperation system. So we are here in a construction area. That means I have a little bit of time to talk about the behavior of the Volvo on the highway. In general, it's, it's performing great. This depends on one hand on its uh, huge power. We have 80 horsepower electric engine power and another 180 horsepower of the combustion engine, which is really enough on the highway. This is definitely a fun car. At an average speed at about 130, 135 kilometers, it's yeah, pretty, pretty quiet, although we are in the combustion engine mode. We drove it outside of the city and this is what the car needs. I mean, city soaks a lot of energy, but now we went back to 62% of battery charging and have a reach or range of 23 kilometers. And the next challenge is gonna be off-road. So I'm excited how that goes. <laughs> So now we left the road and went off-road. This is a gravel road here in Brandenburg and Volvo is, is doing not bad, but we have, we have to, indeed we have an off-road mode here. We can switch on, but in fact, this is cheap country. This is Julia's playground. Julia, go. Now it's time to get dirty. Here we go, off-road feeling and mud. <laughs> <laughs> and ready and <laughs> that's fun i love it we are so dirty the car looks like a mess from outside <laughs> hope they take it back why are you sitting so sadly in your trunk Chris? what's wrong with you i don't have this off-road fun like you had so also it's an SUV, it's, it's not made for off-road driving like all the other SUVs, except the Jeep. I mean, you can tell by the look of my car, we had fun indeed, dirty and muddy. This is how a Jeep should look like, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, regarding the city driving, you were definitely ahead of me. This is not something the Jeep is very good at, but in general, we have two options, right? Which is really enjoyable, so. I'm not totally convinced. What I like at the Volvo is his technical perfection. It is really efficient and its recuperation is great, and, but the charging time is too long and the, the battery is too small for me, so I have to recharge every day and this is, this is not perfect in my eyes. I agree on that, so do I. I mean, we still have that option with the um, engine, combustion engine, but you know, towards sustainability and being green, that's not how it should work. Our two trusty testers were impressed with the Volvo's classy workmanship, economy and powerful but smooth performance. 
Though it does take its time recharging and takes its toll on the financial front with a price tag of 60,000 euros. The Jeep is full of equipment and features and at 40,000 euros has a great price to performance ratio. Plus, it's the real deal off-road. Though the workmanship is on the average side and the fuel economy isn't too hot. Thanks guys and drive safe.